During my last two box penny hunt, we found lots of old coins, including three additions to the Canadian Small Cent album and some upgrades for both books. Now that was a couple of Northeast boxes. Today, I've got a couple of Dallas Fort Worth local boxes and I'm hoping we can get lucky and get similar results. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. We have another two box penny hunt today. It's going to be episode 142 of the entire series and it's boxes 266 and 267. Now, if you've been following along, you know we only need 26 more cents in this Dansko Lincoln Penny album to complete it. Of course, they're the tougher dates. As far as the Canadian Small Cents album, we have 65 of the 115, mostly missing ones from the 1950s and earlier, as well as the modern ones from 2000 to 2012. Hopefully, we can get some additions and upgrades in these two boxes today. Now, I went ahead and took a peek at the bottom of the holes in both boxes. They're definitely circulated coins. They don't look that promising from the holes, but you never know until you get into the rolls. That being said, as always, I will give you guys a look at the books at the end when I compare all the finds from the hunt today to see if we have any additions and upgrades. But for now, we're going to slide that over and get right to the hunt. Hopefully, we have no fits opening this box. And it looks like it's going to be okay. Yes, it is. Let's take a quick peek at the top. Like I said, it doesn't look that great as far as copper. I don't see any wheat scent enders either and nothing that fancy on the top side. Either way though, we got a 50 roll hunt ahead of us for this first box. And as always, as soon as I have a find in my first box, I'll be sure to bring you guys back in. Roll number eight of the first box will give us our first wheat scent of the hunt. And that's gonna be a 1950 Denver, unbelievable. For those following my nickel series, you know what that means. Roll number 11. Wheat scent number two is going to be a 1940. I think it's a Denver. And it is. 1940D, second wheat scent. Also the oldest so far. Well, we're on roll 21 of this box. It's been slow with only two wheat scents so far. But I just flattened out this roll. Saw a little bit of an older edge. And tapped the front coin down. And take a look at what I see peeking out. I think that's going to be an Indian head scent. And it is. One cent. Man, it looks destroyed. I hope we can get a date on it. I haven't found an Indian head scent in circulation in a while, and it feels good to see one. Please show me a date. And it does. It is destroyed and it's corroded, but it is an 1883 from what I can see. Yes, it is. 1883 Indian head scent found in circulation, 140 year old coin. I know it's in rough shape, but it's still a nice sight to see in a box of circulated bank rolled coins for sure. Hopefully it's got some friends with it. Hopefully that means the box is going to get hot. Now let's get back to the hunt. Same roll. Weed scent number three is a 1944 Philadelphia. Roll 22. Weed scent number four. A 1956 Denver. Roll 29. Weed scent number five. Looks like it could be old based on the wear. Let's see what year it is. It's another 1944 Philly. Roll 31 gives us another chance at an oldie. Weed scent number six looks pretty slick. Weed scent number six. And it is old and it has a mint mark. 1929 San Francisco. I don't know if we have that one. It's not a better date, but it's definitely a little bit lower mintage because it's San Francisco minted. I'll definitely take that. That is an oldie to go along with the Indian head scent. And I will double check right now to see if I need that for the book. Unfortunately, we already have a 29S, but it was nice seeing it. Just grabbed roll 39 out of the box and I must have missed it from the bottom side because that's a wheat scent ender. That's going to be number seven for the hunt. Wheat Scent 7, a 1958 Denver. Roll number 40. We've made it to 8 Wheat Scents. And this one's going to be a 1944 San Francisco. Roll 41. Wheat Scent number 9. Pretty nice 1955 Denver. Roll number 44 might give us another old wheat scent, but regardless, it'll be number 10 for the hunt. And take a look at that back. Please be old. 
And it is 1921 Philadelphia. We'll just quickly confirm that, yeah. 1921. I don't know if I have it. It's only Philadelphia Mint, but I'll have to take a peek as well. Let me put it on the board and see if we have it. Well, we have it. Man, two oldies. Both aren't needed, but still good to see. Let's get back to the hunt. Well, we finished that first box of this two box hunt and definitely a good box. 10 wheat cents on the board, but when you factor in that, we got two from the 20s, one with a San Francisco mint mark and an Indian head scent. Can't get mad at that. Actually, 11 total fines from that box. We also got one Canadian small scent, a 1976 copper scent. We got one 1959, 169S, and two nice copper scents, a 1966, not the DDR or the DDO, and a 1968S. As far as copper is concerned, a little light like I expected. Only two pounds, four ounces in the cup, but still almost to five pounds if we have that much in box number two. Speaking of box number two, let's slide it over. I did not see anything promising on the holes in the bottom. Of course, I missed the wheat scent ender in the last one, but let's just take a peek on the top side and see what we got. A little bit tougher to open, a little more glue, but we got it. All right. Yeah, as you can see, doesn't look that promising as far as copper scents, but like I've always said, you don't know until you get into them. All right, 10 wheat scents on the board, one Indian head scent. Let's see what box number two has in store for us. The second box finally broke its silence in roll 12 with a wheat scent find. It'll be the first of the second box, 11th for the hunt. And it's last year, 1958 Denver. Roll number 65 of the hunt. Wheat scent number 12 I caught a glimpse of. It's a 1945 San Francisco, I believe. And it is 45S for the board. Roll number 70. Wheat scent number 13 reverse facing. Another 1944 Philadelphia. Roll number 71 and wheat scent 14 was almost an ender. One off. 1954 Denver. Roll number 73, wheat scent number 15, a 45 Denver. Roll number 80, wheat scent number 16. And that's going to be a 1936. So we'll definitely scope it to see if it has any of the doubling, which I do not see, but we always want to double check for it. Either way, it's our third wheat scent pre-1940s, and hopefully there's more in the box. Roll number 81 will give us our 17th wheat scent, reverse facing. And it's another 1954 Denver. Same roll. Wheat scent number 18 is a 42 Denver. Very next roll, roll 82. 19 wheat scents now for the hunt. Another 1958 Denver. Roll number 90. And say hello to my little friend. This will make 20 wheat cents. That's 10 for each box. And we still have 10 rolls to go. Wheat cent 20. Another 1958 Denver. Roll number 97. Wheat cent number 21. A 1945 San Francisco. Well, we finished that second penny box. And I think they pretty much were a tie other than the Indian head sent. We had 11 fines in box one. 11 fines in box two. 21 wheat cents and an Indian head scent. That's the 22 fines. We also scored a couple of Canadian cents. Unfortunately, it's a 76 and an 80, and we already have those in the book, so we won't be using those at all. As far as wheat cents are concerned, again, most of them are common, but we did get a 1921 oldie, a 1929S, and a 1936. The find of the hunt, as far as date, is this 1883 Indian head scent. As far as condition, it's not the find of the hunt. I would say it's one of the 20s wheat cents, but... I love finding Indian head scents in circulation, so it's good to see it. We had a total of five 1959 pennies. I only pull them aside because they're a transition year plus they're copper. We had three 69 S's, no DDOs of course, and three bright and shiny red scents, a 63P, a 66P, and a 68S. Definitely will be comparing those to the albums to see if any of those upgrade or maybe some of these. Copper was decent overall. A total of four pounds, 12 ounces in the two boxes, four ounces less than five pounds, but still 
a decent two box local hunt for comfort for sure. I'll be adding that to my stack. Now what I need to do is compare all of the wheat scent finds to the albums to see if we have any upgrades or additions. I don't think we're gonna have additions of course, but maybe an upgrade. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll bring you back with a look at the books and of course some final thoughts on today's two box hunt. Well, we've compared the finds of today's hunt to both sets of albums and of course, like I mentioned earlier, no upgrades or additions for the Canadian Small Sense book, so I just kept them closed for now. That being said, we did have an upgrade in the Lincoln Penny album, and I had a feeling when I saw that 1955 Denver with just a splash of red on it, it might be an upgrader, and the one we had in here was completely brown. So, same amount of detail, but this one, because it has a splash of red, went ahead and upgraded it. That makes it a little bit nicer of a scent. We could not, unfortunately, upgrade the 1929S, the one in the book slightly better, and the 1921, despite being slick, is about the same as the other one, maybe slightly a little bit more hair detail, so didn't pull it out, didn't pop the other one in. So only one upgrade in the book, and now after 267 boxes searched, still stuck at 208 out of 234 found. Of course, now after 81 boxes of finds for the Canadian album, stuck at 65 out of 115, of course, we added three last hunt. Hopefully, despite the lack of additions and upgrades, but the good amount of finds and the Indian head scent, you guys had fun watching me hunt these two boxes. If you did, I would definitely appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.